And um, I conducted um, a few interviews, which are really interesting. And uh, as part of it all, this question came up of what home means to different people. And um, I have a few extracts there of the interviews that actually I couldn't integrate everything into my paper. So I'm glad to be able to read them here now. And I'm going to read them uh, to a tune called Sunday at Home, which is um, a compilation actually started it a few years ago in Jeff's class, in the loop composition class. And um, it's uh, sound samples from Austria. My dad's talking about it. Austria, um, Cork and Sligo. So different homes. And um, yeah, it's also part of the, it's on the recordings for the paper. Home are people and not the storage place of my memories. Matthias Holte. It has a certain smell and a sound, a distinct one. There's a lot to it, to siblings, to parents, so the human environment. That you know since birth, or that know you. Just being embedded, safety. And then there's added to smell, what it smells like at home. From the garden, the wood from the house, and the sound, what the stairs sound like when you ascend them, the crackling of the wood. A lazy heddle. Home is coming back to, for example, my parents' home, where I grew up. I feel at home there, relaxed in the sense that I know every path, every route, every stone in the area. I know the lakes and the forest. Also in the sense in social feeling. I know my parents and my siblings know who I am. Home can also be inside myself. I can be anywhere in the world, alone. But if I'm content and calm inside myself, I will always bring my home. Home is also playing music. When I play music, I feel at home. I think this is because it's so connected to my most inner being. The most inner being, I believe, is our essence, our spark, our soul. That's what's left when you die, that's what's there before you're born. These were some thoughts straight from my heart, head and fingers. Stefan Hitbun. No matter where I am in the world or what I'm doing, I'm striving for a sense of being happy, satisfied and calm, no matter what's going on around me. This internal aspect of being at home is a kind of strength that can be developed over time, a reliance on internal fortitude. Music connects the external environment with the internal environment. It can have the effect of bringing a feeling of being home, no matter where in the world the physical body is, no matter how far from home. It can bring a sense of being close to those people and places that we love and give us a deeper understanding of ourselves. Music brings us home, saves us again and again. Melinda Morris. So many different things that constitute home, and it's always the ones you miss that you notice. For example, right now the reasons that I do not feel at home are the absence of my close friends and family, the inability to speak my native language and the weather. At the same time, many things make a new place of residency home. New friendships and active engagement with the community surrounding you, New sounds, images, smells that you associate your being in the world with. Janis Tilakis. You can walk down the street and you remember talking to someone there or seeing something or something happened in a certain time in your life. It can also just be somewhere you're happy, I suppose, and just feel comfortable and grounded. Tumbling. I think there are two kinds of home. One is people and one is place. Of course, there's your inner home, your secret knowledge. 
That's the home you carry with you wherever you go. Nick Crunch. <laughs>